Whether you're filling your gas tank or the grocery cart. Prices have gone up. Their overall grocery bill has gone up. From paying the rent to dining out. We used to eat out like once a week or something, and we hardly ever do that anymore. Inflation is taking a big bite out of Americans' everyday budgets and savings. The latest report out this morning is expected to show an 8.4 percent spike from a year ago. That would be the highest since December 1981, when Raiders of the Lost Ark was number one at the box office, Ronald Reagan was president, and unemployment was pushing 10 percent. But the causes of inflation today are far different. A post-pandemic economic boom. The global supply chain still struggling with China in another COVID lockdown. And the war in Ukraine sending food and energy prices even higher. We went into Russia's war with Ukraine with high prices already. That has exacerbated the problem. The White House bracing for the report. We expect March CPA, CPI headline inflation to be extraordinarily elevated due to Putin's price hike. There is good news. Gas prices now at 4.10 a gallon nationally are down 23 cents from a month ago with the U.S. and other countries tapping their oil reserves. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve is trying to attack inflation with the first interest rate hike in three years and as many as six more to come, raising the cost of borrowing to slow the economy. We understand that high inflation imposes significant hardship. But economists warn the Fed also runs the risk of tapping the brakes too hard, pushing the economy into a recession. It's definitely an elevated probability of a recession right now, depending upon how far the Fed has to go and whether or not we get any relief. But with unemployment now at a very low 3.6 percent, the White House is pushing back on the recession talk. We believe that the economy is strong. And, Tom, the White House is also planning to address another problem. We're talking about high gas prices. What can you tell us? Yeah, that's right. So this summer, we expect the White House, in fact, they're going to announce today, they are going to allow a higher blend of ethanol into the summer gas, and all, uh, gas blend. So 15% ethanol, normally it's 10% to reduce smog. By allowing 15%, the hope is that they allow more fuel on the market. As a result, gas prices will hopefully be moderated ever so slightly, Hoda. All right, Tom Costello for us there. Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.